Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial for Hammer. In this video, we're going to look at how you can use Hammer missions to inspect your drone data in 3D. So let's jump right in. Hammer missions essentially is a mission planning, flight automation and data analysis platform that allows you to capture and process your drone data end-to-end -end for a number of different types of missions. So to be able to access Hammer Hub, what you need to do is open any modern web browser and navigate to hub.hammermissions.com, uh, which will lead you to this particular web page and allow you to use Hammer directly from your browser. So what you see here at the, at the moment is essentially the mission automation part of Hammer. You can use this particular map screen to be able to automate your mission. Um, and uh, you, can, you can essentially plan many different types of flights. Um, all of the flights are available to you in the, sort of, uh, in the top right corner and there's explanation for different types of flights and the missions that you can fly with Hammer. Uh, but this particular video, we're not going to go into the mission planning or the automation. We're actually going to look at the data analysis. So to be able to do that, we need to navigate into the data analysis side. If you're interested in learning more about mission automation, we recommend you check out some of our other videos which cover everything from planning the mission to flying it automated and capturing the best data possible. So let's move on to data analysis. So once you switch to the data analysis side, uh, Hammer provides you with a table of all the projects that you've created in your, in your database so far. Um, to start planning a project, you essentially click on the new project button um, which will which will open up uh, a menu and over here you sort of you enter the details for your specific project so let's say for this specific project we're going to do we're going to do a wind turbine inspection so I would enter wind turbine inspection as the name of the project uh, I would change the type to wind you can choose from many different types so if it's a facade or a pipeline or a roof or solar that you're flying you can choose that as a type and what hammer will do is that it will use that type to give you the best tools within the platform to perform the inspection once you've added your type you can then add the description for your project so let's say this is a demo for conducting wind turbine inspections in 3D. Uh, once I've added a description, um, I can then choose uh, an associated mission file for the specific projects. Um, so uh, if, if, I, if I flew this mission using Hammer, Hammer's flight automation app, then there will be a mission file generated which will automatically be available for you to associate with this project directly from Hammer Hub. But for the moment, we're going to leave that option. We're going to leave that empty as this is uh, an optional field. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to continue, um, and uh, the next step here is to sort of choose the images to upload for your wind turbine inspection. So what you want to do is essentially click on the uh, on the field over here to start the upload for the images. Uh, so once you click on the field, you'll be able to sort of select many different types of images. Um, I've, uh, just for the sake of demo, I've got sort of five files over here that I can upload, uh, then I can continue. And I've got a wind turbine inspection set up over here, uh, which will allow me to essentially um, start the project. So I can start creating the project, and at this point, the upload uh, for the project will start. Um, and uh, well, you just have to wait for all the images to get uploaded. Um, but the progress bar will show you where you're at in the in the upload. Um, but once the upload is complete, um, you can then open the project and inspect the different images. Um, but for this particular demo, what I'm going to do is I've pre-uploaded some of the uh, images and I'm going to go into the Wind Turbine Inspection 2.0 uh, project, which already has um, all of the different images uploaded beforehand. Um, and so you can open the project and what you see on the left hand side corner of the screen is, is a map screen where you can you can see uh, locations for all the images uh, where the images were taken. Um, you can also see um, all the sort of images as thumbnails uh, for the projects and you can click on any of these thumbnails um, to uh, essentially annotate the images with any defects that you found during uh, during the flight. So, for instance, if you wanted to mark this particular um, defect, we can essentially hit the shift key and drag a rectangle and say defect identified 
um, and also create a tag um, mild, severe, uh, or or um, or minor. And so essentially, you can create defects uh, all through different um, different images in your projects. And uh, what Hammer will do is that it will remember where you've marked these defects. So you can essentially go back to those images uh, and you can look at them both from the image points of view, but also from the map points of view. Now, what you might notice is that actually this particular project is a wind turbine. And, and even though we know where the image was taken in a 2D map context, we can't really tell where this image is on the wind turbine because of the um, because of the vertical nature of the of the asset so for these specific projects that are vertical in nature what you can do is you can essentially go to the 3d mode so you click on the 3d mode and hammer will essentially convert the 2d map uh, into a 3d geometry for the wind turbine so what you see here at the moment is essentially a 3D visualization of the wind turbine of where each of those images were taken. Uh, you can also maximize this view to be able to see this um, uh, in full screen to have your entire screen cover uh, the asset. Now to be able to actually inspect the assets in 3D we recommend that you have a system with a mouse attached so that you can actually um, actually look at the asset from all, uh, all vantage points um, uh, and uh, and sift through all the images. Now, what you might notice here is that you've got yellow dots representing each one of those images that were taken. You've got a blue dot and you've got uh, an orange dot. So the blue dot is representing the image that we're currently at. So if I minimize this view, this image that we're currently looking at is represented by the blue dot in the, in the left-hand side panel. Um, uh, at the same time, I've got, uh, I've got an orange dot, which I can click on, and it will show me the defect that I've just marked using Hammer. So essentially, um, you can do this inspection much more, uh, much more precisely in 3D by having a look at exactly the points that the images, uh, where the images were taken by, by Hammer's flight automation app. So essentially, that's how you can do a 3D inspection. So you can go through all the images. Uh, you don't have to use your mouse all the time. You can also use your arrow keys to essentially open any of any one of these images. Uh, and once you've opened an image, you can essentially just press left and right arrow keys to sort of go through these images. And if they were flown in a specific order, then they will be uh, visualized in that order in the inspection platform. But the idea is that you can now do all of this in 3D uh, without having to look at a 2D map for vertical assets. So this video really just forms a continua continuation for our data analysis series. If you are looking to learn a little bit more about data analysis, uh, we recommend you check out some of our other videos on roof inspections with Hammer and how you can use Hammer for data analysis, um, uh, which also includes some of the other features that the data analysis platform allows you to leverage, for instance, sharing the projects, uh, with other members of your team, uh, as well as creating a report that can be then then sent around to other stakeholders, either within your organization or externally to an end customer or client. So that's basically it. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you've got any comments or suggestions for us, please do leave them on the on the um, suggestions box or in the comment section below. Um, if you like this video and would like to see more content on how to use Hammer Missions, please do subscribe to this channel. Um, we look forward to hearing from you.